Genya had met Ben at NYU six years ago, when she was a sophomore and he was a grad student. They'd met in her dormitory cafeteria a year after the Twin Towers had collapsed. Their first date was to Kim's video and then to his grad housing, where he kissed her, finally, on the couch in the common room in the blue glow of the DVD menu. A few months later, halfway into the spring semester, they dropped out of school and moved to L.A. for pilot season together with their friend Naomi, imagining a life in which they would all become successful actors. Jania's mother had not taken the news well. You're not even in the acting program. Marina was a biologist who studied how bacteria communicated. As for how humans communicated or searched for what was in their hearts, this did not interest her. Any academic discipline without a clear and direct path after graduation was questionable. That Genia was an English major had already seemed stupid, but not nearly as illogical and arbitrary as this decision to pursue acting in Los Angeles. I don't need the school's permission to be an actress, Genia had said, though whether she believed this or not, she wasn't sure. Marina, let her go. Genia's grandmother had picked up the phone in the other room and interceded on Genia's behalf. She'd blow into Genia's sails herself if she had to. Let her become an actress. That's a great idea, she'd said. The fact that Genia had never acted or expressed a real interest in acting, that she hadn't even made it past the first rounds of auditions for her high school plays, were these not valid points to make? Mama, you know that's just because I have a quiet voice. In Hollywood, they'll have microphones, her grandmother agreed. And in movies, the acting is different. It's not even the acting. That is the point, I think. You can talk quietly, but with intensity. Who knows what her grandmother had actually believed. Anything would have been a great idea to just get her away, to protect her from Marina and from herself. She knew that her health was failing, that her mind was failing. And she did not want her little Zhenichka to bear witness to any of that. Whether Zhenya wanted to bear witness to that was beside the point. Let her get to L.A., and if not acting, she'll find something else. Idiocy, Zhenya's mother exclaimed, finally angry enough to switch over to Russian. Total idiocy! What have I been paying for the last two years? You and Babushka plotting and scheming. Take her with you, you two headless dodos. Nothing she has done in my entire life has made any sense, and all of it has been with the end goal of irritating and hurting me, because she knows that as much as I would like, I can never be rid of her. <laughs>